ஹாய் கைஸ் வெல்கம் டு கோட் பி கோட் ஸோ டுடே ஐல் பி கவரிங் த தியோரி ஆஃப் ஊப்ஸ் கன்செப்ட்ஸ் ஸோ எஸ் ஐவ் ஆல்ரெடி டோல்ட் யூ தட் ஜாவா இஸ் அன் ஆப்ஜெக்டட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஓரியன்டட் லாங்குவேஜ் ஸோ வாட் டூ ரியலி மீன் தட் மீன் பை தட் வாட் டூ ரியலி மீன் பை ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஓரியன்டட் பிரின்சிபிள் அண்ட் ப்ரோக்ராமிங் லாங்குவேஜஸ் இட் மீன்ஸ் தட் எவ்ரி திங் இன் ஜாவா ஆக்சுவலி ரிவால்ஸ் அரவுண்ட் அன் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஆர் த ரியல் வேர்ல்ட் என்டிட்டி எஸ் ஐவ் ஆல்ரெடி ஷோன் யூ இன் த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ டாக் வாஸ் அன் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் அண்ட் எவ்ரி திங் வாட் யூ சீ இன் த ரியல் வேர்ல்ட் கேன் ஆக்சுவலி பி கன்வர்ட் இன் டு அண்ட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் இன் ஜாவா ஸோ டு பிகம் அண்ட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஓரியன்டட் ப்ரோக்ராமிங் லாங்குவேஜ் தீஸ் லாங்குவேஜஸ் ஹாவ் டு ஃபாலோ சம் கன்செப்ட்ஸ் ஸோ டுடே ஐ வில் பி கவரிங் ஒன் ஆஃப் தோஸ் கன்செப்ட்ஸ் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டிஸ்கஸ் ஹவு மெனி டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஓரியன்டட் கன்செப்ட்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் அன் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் the second version is class the third one is inheritance the fourth is polymorphism fifth is abstraction and sixth is encapsulation so these are some very basic concepts which are used to become an object as object oriented programming language there are few others for example coupling cohesion association aggregation and composition so i'll be covering all of these uh, heavy words in the later videos today i'll be focusing on inheritance mostly and i'll cover the type of inheritance and theory part of inheritance in the next video i'll show you the practical implementation of the same so let's get started i've already told you what are objects objects are nothing but the entity which has state and behaviors so state is it's white and brown its name is tommy it's it's basically uh, the breed is pug the behavior is that it wakes its tail it barks it eats similarly the another concept which i have told you is class class is nothing but a logical entity i have already discussed this in the previous lectures but still as a summary part i'll tell you that it's nothing but a blueprint of an individual object being convert uh, being converted as an object and it basically does not consume any space the real space which is being consumed in the memory is for the object the third concept and very important concept is inheritance so the next question arises is what actually inheritance is so if i have an animal class which has two eyes has two has four legs and i have a dog class which has two eyes again four legs and it barks and i have a class which is cat cat is again two eyes four legs and it meows so look, looking at this what do you really think uh, what what this concept is all about this concept is a, actually a mechanism in which one object like dog acquires all the properties and behavior of a parent object which is animal so these two things two eyes and four legs are being inherited from animal so when i'll show you the practical implementation i will show you that this dog class does not need to have the method of two eyes or four legs it is actually inherited with uh, the animal itself when you inherit or use an extends keyword so why do you actually need this inheritance we actually have the flexibility to reuse the methods and fields of a parent class but apart from that you can actually have the new method and variables also so that is why inheritance is very important because it reduces your code uh, and it increases your code reusability so this is called as is a relationship so how, why is it called a is a relationship because dog is an animal cat is an animal that is why this inheritance is actually known as is a relationship between child and parent we have few terminologies used i'll use those terminologies in the uh, whole video so you understand it the first place here itself this animal is a class i've told you what class is it is just a blueprint then i'll use a uh, terminology called as sub class or a child class so child class is or sub class is nothing but a class which inherits or extends the parent class then i'll use super class or the parent class so super class or parent class is nothing but a class from which the sub class inherits the property say for example two eyes and four legs are inherited from animal so this is parent and this is child the fourth term i'll be using is reusability i have already told you that uh, making these uh, reusable because this is already present in the parent class so this is called as reusability and the fifth i'll be using in as extends keyword extends is nothing but a keyword which indicates that a class is derived from an existing class so i hope this much is clear now i'll start with type of inheritances now type of inheritance is involves the single inheritance multi level inheritance hierarchical inheritance 
multiple inheritance and hybrid type of inheritance. So let's cover one by one in each of the slides next. Let's first cover single inheritance. So in single inheritance, it refers to a child and parent relationship where one class extends the another class and it involves only two classes where one is parent and another is child. So I'll give you an example. For example, animal and dog. So animal is a parent class and dog inherits from the animal class. So what does that inherit? It inher inherits the methods called as two eyes and four legs. So this is an example of single inheritance where there is only one parent and one subclass. Now next type is multi-level inheritance. So what happens in multi-level inheritance is we have one parent and multiple children. It refers to a child parent relationship where super class extends the child classes for example child 2 extends from child 1 and child 1 extends from a parent so what happens here is child 1 behaves as a subclass for this super class and behaves as a super class for this subclass so child 1 is nothing but a dynamic way in which we can actually extend from one class and actually get extended from another class and we have many more in this hierarchy so I'll give you an example of this for clarity. For example, a parent is animal and we have already seen that dog is the child of this animal. And the third child can be Labrador, which has some special characteristics. So animal has two eyes and four legs. Dog can have two eyes, four legs and it barks, which is a particular special functionality of animal that it barks. The third child that is Labrador has a, a two eyes, four legs, it barks but one more special characteristic that is it has an athletic capability. It can be used by military people. So this has something which is, uh, so you don't have to actually extend uh, the, the parent class because it is actually extended by child one. So it will automatically have two eyes and four legs. And it automatically barks also because it extends the child one which barks. But it has to have its own new property of athletic capability. So these three features are extended which you don't have to uh, define in your class. But it is actually being extended already. This is code reusability. You have to just define one special capability which is athletic capability. I will show you in a programmatical way. Understand what it basically means here first. The next is hierarchical inheritance. So what does that mean? It means that it refers to a child and parent relationship where more than one class extends the same class. So I have child 1, child 2 and child 3 subclasses of a super class parent. So for example, I'll give you an example. I have animal. So I can have three childs, dog, fish and frog. So all of these have some common functionality which is being implemented from parent which is it has two eyes. So dog also have two eyes, fish also have two eyes, frog also have two eyes which is a common functionality inherited from a parent that is animal. So this is hierarchical that is you have multiple child extending same functionality from a parent. The next is hybrid which is nothing but a combination of two or more types of inheritances in Java. For example this is single inheritance type i have told you animal and dog and this is nothing but hierarchical inheritance where you have uh, like the hierarchy being created and this is the hybrid one which is the com combination of both say for example animal dog labrador and fish so dog and labrador have a type of inheritance and animal, dog and fish have a type of inheritance. So this is hybrid mix of both. The next is multiple inheritance. So in multiple inheritance, it's like one class is extending more than one class. So I'll give you an example. This is one class amphibians. This is another class terrestrial animals and aquatic animals. So we all know that amphibians are nothing but the animals which can live both on land and on water and in water. 
Terrestrial animals are which can live only on land. Aquatic animals which can live only in water. But amphibians are those animals which can live both on land and in water. So when one class is extending properties of two classes or more, then that becomes multiple inheritance. And this is very important from interview perspective because this is not being implemented in Java. Now we'll tell you why. Now terrestrial animals have a property to live on land, so they have lungs to breathe. The aquatic animals have uh, animals who have gills to breathe and lives in water. What about amphibians? How will actually frog breathe is a complicated thing, right? I mean, if you can see in the uh, technical terms, amphibians have lungs to breathe on land and they have gills kind of thing so that they can breathe in water also. So this is very complicated. They have uh, actually modified themselves to have methods from both uh, the animals, the terrestrial animals and aquatic animals. But in Java, to remove such complexity, the people in Java have actually removed the uh, allow or didn't allow uh, having multiple inheritance in Java. So as you can see from here, multiple inheritance is not allowed in Java. And now I'll show each and every in type of inheritance in a practical view. So stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.